<laughs> Hi. Long time no see. It's been a while. I have no excuses except that I was living life. Okay, I was just living life. And life got a little bit busy. And I got a little bit lazy. But we're here, we're back, whatever. This is my 22 <laughs> week pregnancy update. Woohoo! In the second trimester. I'm doing good for the most part. So I'm out of breath though. I just went up the stairs. So today I want to talk about symptoms. I want to show you the bump. I want to talk to you about things that I've been loving, still loving, whatever. And yeah. So if you like pregnancy updates and you don't mind a little bit of TMI, then subscribe, like this video, and keep on watching. Symptoms. What has been going on? My heartburn has been through the roof. I can't even explain to you how crazy my heartburn has been. I The worst time was I was craving peppermint ice cream and I ate a Dairy Queen uh, Dilly Bar and I wasn't thinking anything of it. And then, I, gosh, the heartburn was so bad. Like, I feel like there's two types of heartburn. There's the one that burns up here and then there's the one that burns like deep in your chest, you know, if you've ever had that. And I had both at the same time. It was horrendous. And so I took two Tums, nothing. I took two more Tums, nothing. And I'm like, I don't think I can take any more Tums. Like, I don't think that's good. So I was just sitting there and it was like I was trying to keep my chest up. Just, I don't know. It was like I was trying to get away from the pain or something. It was awful so awful well I looked it up on the internet the you know best place to fact check and apparently peppermint like as far as eating peppermint stuff is like the biggest trigger for heartburn and I'm like what how can that be peppermint's cooling you know and it actually is ironic considering one of the products I'm going to talk about but yeah, so apparently peppermint ice cream, not a good idea. So I have stayed away from that ever since, but that was my worst heartburn. But I pretty much get heartburn every day. I literally wake up and if I drink some water and lay down, heartburn. So Tums are are on repeat for Shersies. Um, I'm beginning a couple migraines. I get those normally when I'm not pregnant, but it just sucks to be pregnant and have a migraine because uh, when I'm not pregnant, I take extended migraine, I be in the dark, wear my face mask, put a, a cooling pack on the back of my head, and then within like two hours, my migraine is usually gone. Well, when I'm pregnant, I can't do that. I can take Tylenol and put a cold compress and hope for the best, but it doesn't really even barely touch it. Um, so I guess Tylenol is has been a favorite, except it's not really my favorite because it's just the only thing that I can take. My doctor recommended that I take magnesium, which I will talk about a magnesium product, but she recommended that I ingest it orally, uh, either the powder or the gummies. Uh, and she said that that would help with my headaches, but I found that my insides, my body, my stomach, I don't know, is very sensitive to magnesium. So even if I try to like just a little bit, a little bit, like work my way up to an amount, it, it's just like I'm going number two literally all the time. And I just don't have time for that, you know, and it's not like a Oh, a healthy, a healthy number two. No, it's like urgent, gotta go, not good type of number two. So I'm just like, okay, this, my body doesn't handle this well, so can't do that. Um, so unfortunately, even though she said that that would probably help my migraines, I can't take that orally. Um, so that's a bummer. <clears throat> um, I'm starting to get the cramps uh, in like my feet and in my calves if I stretch. And I remember later on in my pregnancy with Simeon, who was who is my only other child, um, my cramps 
would be bad. Like I could not, you know, you get out of bed and you stretch. No, because if I stretch my legs, instant cramp. I would wake up in the middle of the night with a horrible, like Charlie horse or cramp and I'd have to freaking get out of bed and walk it off. I'm not there yet. I'm just at the point where I can tell a cramp's coming on if I'm stretching, so I don't stretch to the full capacity. Um, yeah, so the cramps are coming. Um, my gag reflex is really bad. So I thought that I was just like a freak, but I looked it up on the internet and it turns out a lot of women have trouble like swallowing pills, brushing their teeth, that type of thing when they're pregnant because apparently bad gag reflex is like a normal pregnancy symptom. So I don't feel as much of a freak now, but yeah, I got a little bit of a cold while I was on vacation. So that was really cool. Not COVID. Okay. Um, but I had a lot of mucus and trying to cough. I would literally gag and almost throw up. So that wasn't fun. And another thing that's like not fun, which goes along with another product I'll talk about is if I sneezed or I cough too hard now, I straight up pee. Like ever since having Simeon, if I sneeze too hard, I try to, you know, sneeze and close my legs really fast, do one of those mom moves, you know, because uh, I do pee a little bit, but it's like, it's not even a little bit anymore. No, 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 no. It's like quite a lot. I ended up like basically peeing the bed uh, because I, I sat up because I was just sneezing and sneezing and sneezing and I was like this on the bed and then I sneezed and peed and so I like shot up really fast and luckily it it didn't reach the mattress enough to like ruin it. But I'm like, oh my gosh, I just straight up peed my bed. This is embarrassing. My little sister who's 15 was making fun of me because I do a little, you know, close my legs dance move every time I sneeze or cough. Achoo! And she's like, you're still bad. And I'm like, wait till you get old, okay? <laughs> my restless legs are still a thing, but I have a product that really, really helps with them. And so they have been like 70% better. So I hate even saying that, oh, like that's a symptom because I don't really consider it to be one anymore because I have found this product. But I guess if I don't use that product, I do still get restless legs. Uh, so restless legs, cramps, horrible gag reflex, peeing when I sneeze or cough, migraines, and oh, heartburn, yes. So those are my symptoms. Gosh, that makes pregnancy sound so great. Why doesn't everybody do this? I don't know. As far as cravings go, I've really been craving Subway. Just like sub sandwiches, but I'm pretty sure specifically Subway. So I bought all the ingredients that I like on my Subway sandwich at home so I can start making sandwiches, which is something that I don't normally do. Um, but I've just been super craving Subway and normally I'm not a huge Subway fan. So that's weird. Um, I've been craving like fruit, watermelon, mandarin oranges. Um, yeah, anything really citrusy um, and like natural popsicles. And I know that seems weird, but like they can't be like the sugary blue raspberry popsicles. No, I want like, uh, I bought the, I think it's called Outshine or something. Outlast, Outshine. I don't know. It's like a popsicle brand. A bunch of influencers are being sponsored by them right now. Uh, but they have like natural popsicles. They have a strawberry one and it literally just tastes like blended up strawberries on a stick. So that I have been loving, craving, I crave like random things in the moment, but then I have them and then they're gone. I guess I will start in on my must have products that I've been using. So the first one, boom, is these pads. I didn't want to wear a giant pad. I like these because they're thin, like a panty liner, 
but they have a little more absorption and they're long and they're anti-bunch extra protection long. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I really like these because not only, oh, discharge. That's another symptom. Sorry. I totally forgot that. Discharge and peeing myself. So that's why I like these because they're long enough to where it catches the discharge here and then catches my pee over here. Uh, so I don't literally ruin 10 pairs of underwear in one day. So I just freaking go through these all day long. That way I can, I don't have to change my underwear 10 times a day. Uh, and I protect my bed and my dining room chairs and stuff from pee. So that's always really, really fun. I have switched deodorants like 17 million times during this pregnancy so far. Uh, I, I don't remember what deodorant I recommended, probably Native, um, but I have found that the Native deodorant, especially the one with baking soda in it, was like giving me a rash. For some reason when I'm pregnant, I'm like allergic to baking soda in deodorant. When I'm not pregnant, I'm not allergic. I don't know. So I switched to regular deodorant just until I could find a natural one that worked for me, but I hate using actual real or aluminum deodorant, I guess I should say, because I just, I, I think it does cause cancer. Like putting metal in your armpits just can't be a good thing, you know? So anyways, I was using a aluminum deodorant and then I saw the commercial for this Dove deodorant and it's, 0% aluminum, it doesn't have any baking soda in it, uh, and it has like some sort of moisturizing element to it. This is in coconut and pink jasmine. It smells delightful, nice and fresh. And it's like, and you probably can't tell, but normally deodorant's like white, right? This is like translucent. Might as well just put some on, right? I got this one at Target and I've been really loving it, but who knows? Natural deodorants, like I kind of have to switch them out because like my body gets used to them or something and I start stinking, I feel like, or I can just smell myself more because I'm pregnant. I don't know. Okay. So these are the uh, assorted fruit Tums, but what is actually my favorite, but the, <laughs> I didn't really have the packaging because it was like down to here, is the peppermint flavored Tums. So they're literally the cheapo ones in like this little freaking package, um, but they're peppermint flavored. They're all white. Those are the best. They are the strongest. I can take one Tum for the most part and be good. It will get rid of my heartburn. And the peppermint has like this cooling effect that feels so nice when I have a heartburn. Uh, but I can't find those everywhere. So I have a package in my car and a package in my purse, but I'm like running low and I'm like, ah. This is the assorted fruit one, which literally do not work as well as the peppermint ones. But anyways, it's a package that looks like this, but it's the peppermint flavor. Love those. Those are definitely a favorite. Um, so now for the restless legs and probably a little bit of the migraine, I don't know, is this magnesium oil with aloe vera. It's by Seven Minerals. This is a travel size. Uh, it's kind of expensive. I want to say this was like 10 or 11 bucks or something like that. And then the big size is like $20 or something. Um, but this has lasted me quite some time. Uh, and anyways, I was looking up on the internet because I'm like, I feel like I need magnesium, especially because I read that magnesium gets rid of restless legs as well as helps with migraines. And so I'm like, I can't take it internally. It's like not working for me. What can I do? And then I saw on Pinterest that they have like magnesium oil spray. And I'm like, what? So anyways, I literally spray this all over my legs and on the bottom of my feet and then I go to bed. It has like, it gives your legs a weird, almost like dry oil. I don't know if you know that feeling, but like a dry oil texture to your legs, which is kind of lame -o. but if it gets rid of my restless legs and lets me sleep longer, then I don't care what it makes my legs feel like, you know what I'm saying? 
Um, yeah, so I have been loving this. I wish that I had this during my molar pregnancy and during my pregnancy with Simeon because that would have helped my life so much. Another thing that I learned is Tums suck the magnesium out of your body. So the more you get heartburn, the more Tums you eat, the less magnesium you have in your body, the more likely you are to get restless legs. I did not know that. Why didn't anybody tell me that? I literally learned that on the internet. And so I'm glad that I have this because I'm eating Tums all day long, <laughs> you know? Um, yeah, so if you didn't know that, now you know. And if you have restless legs, you should really try this. And apparently, I'm, maybe you can like put it on your temples or like the back of your neck or something to help with migraines. I don't know. Um, but yeah, love it. I'm still loving this water bottle that I shared in like my first pregnancy video. Has the handle, has the lock on it so Simeon can't get into it and yuck it up. Uh, it has a button and that pops open and stays open and it fits in cup holders in your car uh, and it keeps things cold. It's literally my favorite. Um, <clears throat> but David like put a not water beverage in my other one and left it for a long time and so I could not get the um, taste of that beverage out of the can. And then he left the straw part of this, because it does have a straw, that's another cool thing about it, uh, in Spokane, where we were staying on our vacation. So I'm like, right when we get back, need to go to Target, need to buy another one. So bought another one. My sister bought a black one. Like, I had never heard of this Elo brand before, but they are bomb.com. They have a really big one if you're into really, really big water bottles, and it has the same mechanism but it's a big one. Uh, I just like this one, even though it doesn't hold too much water, I like it because it fits in my cup holder in my car and I don't have to like chuck it somewhere and then try and find it. I'm much more likely to drink water when I can carry it with me, I can put it in a cup holder, that type of thing. Uh, so this helps me get my water in, which I desperately need being pregnant. Um, yeah, I think that's all the products that I have. Actually, I have one more product. I had one more product. I'm a liar. Um, my last product are these pregnancy shorts. Let me like figure them out for you here. So because I'm a little bit heavier, I'm like 20 pounds heavier starting out this pregnancy than I was starting out my pregnancy with Simeon. Uh, I felt like, and after giving birth the first time, I feel like my belly is a weird shape. Everything just looks weird. And so I felt like I just looked chubby and I looked very unproportionate because my belly was big but the rest of me was normal size or whatever and I felt like people couldn't tell that I was pregnant I just looked like I had a beer belly or something and maybe it's just me maybe I'm just self-conscious about it I don't know um so I wanted some sort of like shapewear to shape out my belly and then also I wanted it to help with chafing because I don't know why when I'm pregnant, maybe I stand different or probably walk different, but the chafing, <clears throat> the chafing is really bad. So I found these on Amazon. These are a medium. Now I read the comments and the reviews and there was someone who was shorter than me and heavier than me who got a medium and said that they fit perfectly. And so I'm like, oh, well, if she's heavier than me and she's shorter than me and she got a medium and said it fit fine, then I should be able to get a medium and grow into it. Well, these are a medium and they're just a little snug for my taste personally. I can wear them right now, but I guarantee uh, in a month or so, I'm not going to be able to get these on. So I did get them in a large and I have those. They're probably in the dirty laundry. Uh, but my medium ones are clean. But anyways, you can't really see, but there's a thinner material uh, in the front here. And it has, you can't see it at all, but there's like flowers up here and it's a thinner material. And so your belly can really stretch. And then the, this is like a thicker material that 
like sucks you in better and it really does shape you and I actually like just wearing these and then like a t-shirt around the house they're almost like biker shorts to me I don't know that I would wear them out and about I just don't think I'm cool enough for the whole biker short trend um, but I do love wearing these around the house because they're so comfortable and with just a t-shirt and calling it a day so love that I will have everything that I talked about hopefully linked down below for you so if you're interested you can purchase it um, and I guess the last thing that I need to do is share with you a bump shot. And again, I'm quite large. Let's see how I'm gonna do this. So, I am 22 weeks. That's five and a half months, I believe, almost. But that's what I look like. This shirt kind of hides my pregnancy, so that's kind of nice. But yeah, here's my maternity pants. <laughs> But you can see my belly kind of dips in right there that's why i like those shorts but anyways that's the bump you can tell i'm pregnant sometimes and then other times you can't really tell but whatever through that anyways um i hope that you guys enjoyed this video i hope that you're enjoying following along even though it's literally been like 10 weeks or something since i've given you guys an update thank you for your patience thank you for your continued support I really do appreciate it because I'm just like a struggling mom trying to get videos up. Um, if you like this video, again, don't forget to subscribe, like it with a thumbs up. Uh, if you have any prayer requests, please leave them down below because I do pray for you. I really do. Um, and I guess I will see you guys in my next video.